Over the years, we've faced many tragedies and adversities. Boating accidents, fires, storms, floods, drownings, and lobstering bands. But every year, no matter what else was going on, we came together to celebrate what makes this island so special. You're on the right path. It is more dangerous than you realize. You will see things. Things other people miss. Things you weren't supposed to see. So, Paul, what were you and my brother up to the other night? No good. I'm being serious. Believe me, so am I. I just remember how much fun it can be to break the rules. And there's something in the air tonight, don't you think? I've been meaning to take on a protege for a while, you seem perfect. Look, you and I both know that those boys were fishing in the restricted zone. And you can be damn sure that Harrison Shaw knew it too. I think we need to prepare ourselves for the fact that a matter we long considered closed has been reopened. Well, enjoy the island. It's kind of a funny place. I swear there's something in the water here. In a place like Ragged Isle, there are many dark corners to hide a secret. But secrets can be a tricky thing. Most will lay silent for a time. Some never surface. But then there are those secrets that no matter how well guarded, how deeply hidden, will come back to reveal their dangerous truths. You look tired. I am tired. Is that why you're in here instead of out looking for bad guys? I've been out looking for bad guys since 3 o'clock this morning. If I knew where else to look, that's where I'd be. Well, then I guess I'm glad you don't. That one's cracked. Yeah, that's a picture that fell the other night, remember? That was weird. I've seen weirder since. Who is that? It's Emma Dobson. And she is... Haven't you ever heard the story about what happened up at the old sardine plant? I know the owner burned it down in the 70s. Killed a couple people. I know no one goes up there anymore. Is there more? Is there more? <laughs> so unromantic. Well, arson isn't usually considered Romantic. Just listen. The plant had two owners, Wilbur Henson and George Bridges. Bridges fell in love with a factory worker, Emma Dobson. Henson threatened to dissolve the whole partnership if they didn't stop seeing each other. What? Bridges came from money, Dobson didn't. Henson said it made the company look bad. Okay. He may have had other reasons. People said that Henson was in love with Emma himself. And one night, he caught George and Emma kissing in the office of the factory, went crazy with jealousy. He barricaded the doors, burned the place down to the ground, set off a forest fire, burned the whole northern tip of the island. It was so hot 
They never even found the remains. What happened to Henson? I never heard that part. Oh, he may have gotten away with it, but somebody saw him running from the fire. Emma's uncle. He confronted Henson, and that night, Henson threw himself into the sea. Whoa. Wait a minute. Threw himself? Or was pushed? God, you're such a cop. He threw himself, and there was a witness. And you know her. Who? Rose Fuller. She saw the whole thing. And funny thing is, come to find out, Henson had left everything to Rose in his will. He did. Why? Nobody knows. Rose doesn't even know. Well, you're right. It's a good story. Murder, jealousy, forbidden love. It's got everything. Maybe someday people tell a story like that about us. I would hope for a better ending. Of course. But, the way things are going, we'll be lucky to survive the summer. Then we haven't got much time. Sheriff, there you are. Been looking all over for you. Lewis here has something he wants to report. Why don't you call me? You have to take this with you. No shit. Let's go for a ride. Where are we going? Back to my office. You can take a full statement there. Tell me about the cane, Lewis. What cane? Mr. Shaw's cane. The Maine Historical Society gave it to him. What about it? It's gone. When did you first notice it was missing? It was this morning. You need to talk to Eric Burke and Paul Susie. Talk to them both, what, how many times now? Well, you should talk to them again. Why? Seen one of them take the cane? No, but they're involved in this. How do you know that? I just know. Come on, Lewis. I just know is in grounds to question someone. I saw them. You saw them where? Fishing in the restricted zone late one night before everything went all to heck. And where were you when you saw them? Where were you, Lewis? Restricted zones all the way up the north end of the island. What's up at the old factory site? The sardine factory? Hey, did you ever hear the story about the couple who died in that fire? What? Never mind. What were you doing up there, Lewis? No one goes up there anymore. Lewis? I need you to answer me, Lewis. I was there because of something Madame Clelia told me, okay? Good, you're finally here. You better come in. With our men and our guns the fire in our blood may our actions speak louder than our words be it courage in our fists carry faith around our necks we've got names and dates and homes that make us savior Like the walls hold our portraits Every one of us has one thing on our minds so 
give us this our place and time that we are shoulder we are spine and we welcome you to stay here for a while save your face